too. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I've got another unboxing today. Uh, it's basically going to be a uh, overhead camera mount that I got on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, at the time I got it, um, it was about sixteen dollars and seventy-eight cents, so roughly seventeen bucks. Uh, it's it's not a high-end quality um, camera mount. But for what I need it for, and those of you that are on a budget, I think this would be um, convenient enough for you. So let's go ahead and go over that real quick. And uh, I'll share some of the features, what I really think about it. And uh, we'll go from there. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoy. So, guys, first and foremost, it's made by... Jinsui, J-I-N-S-U-I. And it comes in this generic box, but that doesn't really mean anything. It just could mean that they're on a budget like the rest of us are. And they didn't want to splurge for all the fancy logos and design and whatnot. So um, I'm just going over some of the, in the information here. Um, so they state that it can hold up to 1.1 pounds um, without any instability, shaking and whatnot. And um, like, uh, like I said, it only costs $16.78. So let's go ahead and get this open so I can show you what it's like because I really need to put up another video and I need it for this table. Which by the way, this is the table I made two days ago and I posted a video on it. It's basically gonna be my product table and whatnot. So you, also, you obviously get a user's manual and uh, it's short and sweet. There's not much to it. It basically mounts through a C-clamp, if you want to call it that, at the base of the table, which by the way, uh, its full extension is two inches. So if your table is any thicker than two inches, uh, this won't work for you. Uh, it consists of, let's see. So basically it consists of one, two, three, four, five components. And this is the first time I'm actually opening it guys. So let's put this together. So to mount it guys, or let's go ahead and get it all set up for now. That way we can um, see how it's all gonna come together. So you've got the C-clamp that's gonna hold it to the edge of your table. Like I said, it's no, uh, it's it's only about, it's only two inches. So you, if you have a table that's thicker than that, you're not gonna be able to use it. Uh, this is the part that basically is gonna extend from the table upward, that's 22 inches. And then this is the, the device that's used to hold the third, um, the third rod here let me show you what this is too by the way so basically it's just it's all made of plastic um, first and foremost and it feels like the rod itself is aluminum but the interconnections that connect the rods together are going to be plastic and then of course they've got like metal screws along with a plastic wing nut I mean for the most part, it seems pretty sturdy. It's light, but it seems pretty sturdy. Like I believe it'll hold a pound. It might even hold a little bit more than that. Um, but the way this mounts to the third rod, which is where your actual camera is gonna go or your light, you know, whatever it is, you're gonna mount over, over the top of your table. Excuse me, your table is basically, you have like this setup right here. And this is, again, like I said, it's all plastic. I don't know what kind of plastic it is. It does seem a little bit sturdy. Um, the parts where the screw mounts into, and that's this part right here, it's basically gonna sandwich the, the rod. It's gonna sandwich it in, if you can see that. It's gonna clamp it closed. Uh, these do seem a little thin, but as long as you don't over tighten it, I don't see it being a problem. So anyway, so basically the um, this part would go over the top portion of the of the um, 
the camera mount. And then the second part, the second opening on this side would go for the third rod. Let me open it up a little more. There you go. And then you can, you can, you can adjust it to whatever angle you need it to be. Like for me, it'd probably be something like about right there only because this does come with a ball swivel so you can actually angle um, the camera downward if you needed to. And basically you would tighten it up to where you need. I'm gonna go to the full, the full height, which is 22 inches. Um, and then the bottom part here, um, this uh, seat, this clamp, it has a screw that's gonna go to the actual, uh, the rod that's gonna be um, at, touching the table and let's go ahead and get that screwed in there. And then of course this would just collapse downward. Until you get it the thickness of your table. Um, honestly, if I were to put it, let's say if, I, if, let's say if I were to put it on the table now, just as a demonstration, I'll show you later what it looks like when it's fully mounted, but I just want to give you an idea of how high it is. It's got a good little stiff tightness to it. I don't see that this would move um, very easily, that is. And so this gives you kind of an idea of what you're looking at as far as if it was mounted. Now the ball swivel, uh, that's what I'm looking for. So you can go a full 90 degrees downward that's exactly what I was looking for. And that's what I was hoping for. I didn't see that groove in there till now. So, and then of course you adjust this to your height. For me, it's probably gonna be about right there. Now they give you this little, um, if you're gonna use a phone, like I said, you could probably go ahead and use this. It's, like I said, it's not top quality, but I think it'll do the job and you've got two mounting points. You've got it so that basically you can mount it from the base upward so your phone's in this position, or you can mount it on this side and it'll, it'll put your phone basically facing downward towards the tabletop. And then of course you would just mount it on there. Fine tune your position on the table and start presenting whatever it is you're gonna do from an overhead view. So like I said, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it, it's, I can tell it's gonna do what I need it to. It's pretty sturdy. Um, like I said, they said it holds up to a pound, 1.1 pounds. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I kind of needed this cause I, I got tired of always setting my camera to the side or using a tripod like I got the camera on now and putting stuff underneath it to try to extend it and give kind of like a 45 degree angle view that just it wasn't cutting it I didn't like that now I actually have something that I can do an overhead view I think I'm gonna I prefer that a lot more but um so yeah guys I think I covered it all um I'll just go ahead and close out with some photos of what it looks like with my equipment mounted um in case you're wondering I'm not gonna put like a DSLR on there I mean I don't know how heavy that would those cameras are I don't I don't own one but it does state that if you put over a pound, 1.1 pounds on it, you might get a little bit of movement. You know, like look at my table, like if I really wanted to see how I'm moving it. But I mean, if you're, if you stable it properly, I mean, it might be able to hold up to two pounds. I don't see why not. It seems pretty sturdy. But anyways, I was saying, I don't own a DSLR. My cameras are all, um, micro cameras so they're real light i mean i've got an action camera i've got the the my iphone and i have um some lighter cameras that are not nowhere near that heavy so i know this will work perfect for me anyway i won't go on guys i just wanted to share that with you hope you enjoyed the video and catch you on the next one